what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overload here so this will be the spoiler free review for barbarian which is coming out later this week on thursday night or if, maybe if you're lucky you'll get to see it tomorrow night even if you check your amc app um or maybe you're going to a promo screening but yeah this will be the spoiler free review for barbarian this is directed by zach Kreger, who also wrote the screenplay for this movie and it is starring georgina campbell bill skarsgård and justin long now there are of course other actors involved in this but i don't want to get into the full entire cast list uh because again i want to try to keep keep this as spoiler free as i can because now that i've seen the movie i see what they're talking about when it relates to going in as blind as you can but if you're someone who's watching this review uh again i will try to keep it as spoiler free as i can but this film is revolving around a young woman named tess played by played by uh, georgina campbell She's in town for a job interview and she arrives in an Airbnb late at night only to find that it has been mistakenly double booked and a strange man played by Bill Skarsgård named Keith uh, is already staying there. Against her better judgment, she decides to stay the night anyway, but soon discovers that there is much more to be afraid of in the house than the other house guests. Now, Barbarian... Uh, this is definitely an experience. I'll tell you that much off the rip. I'll tell you, I thoroughly enjoyed the movie. It is in my favorite horror movies of the year for me. And even if uh, the movie did lose me a little in the end, this is a very well made and engaging uh, movie from start to finish. Craig's screenplay has meta elements to it. There's social commentary. It subverts your expectations, offers a great final girl to spend time with, takes time developing the characters involved, letting their traits become maybe something I think certain Maybe if you're an aspiring filmmaker or have an interest for the film industry, that those are the people who will grow attached to the character of Tess uh, more so than others. Uh, but it perhaps may be cooked up too much exposition in parts and not enough in other parts of this deranged story. The character, specifically Tess, who is portrayed by Georgina Campbell again, refreshingly makes decisions that would be considered smart. And it helps that, again, she is well written for the most part and very easy to root for as a result of that. Sadly, when Barbarian seems to poke fun at the tropes of the genre, it progressively falls into the falls into them anyway as characters grow progressively stupid which has of course been a thing that a lot of horror movies have had this mishap of in the past so certain characters are explained far too much also again i've touched on that briefly but that's in that's enough negatives for now i'll say so what i want to talk about is how many of my jeepers creepers fans will find aspects of this movie to be both ironic and that might only enhance the meta aspect of the movie admittedly i can see where people might be turned off by how the movie seems to borrow a lot from other films but i think it all went well for the most part for me when it relates to barbarian's execution justin long remains a remains brilliant at playing scared campbell is great in her role as tess and bill scarsgar is impressive as keith who i know many of you probably already have expectations on him you're going to be floored by this trust me if you've seen the trailers again there are things related to his character that are going to shock you uh jumping into something else the camera work in barbarian truly helps just draw you into its narrative so i definitely was digging a lot of the tracking shots featured in the movie anna drubik's score is also helping set the unease and chimes in at all the right spaces to keep you guessing unnerved helps to build the tension and just keeps you uncomfortable by everything happening on screen because there's a lot of like what the f moments in this movie when i see malignant again i'm not going to say this is like malignant but it is the what the f movie of the year like how malignant was for a lot of people so zach Kreger is able to put on a terrifying experience that will also make you laugh and some of the dialogue did feel like he was poking fun at himself in a lot of ways so that was a nice touch so i know uh may his soul rest in peace Wes craven i feel like would have enjoyed this movie and this might honestly feel like the most Wes craven movie that he unfortunately will not get to be here to witness or he never got to actually make because i think this is something in line with what he would want to try to do with how meta it is sometimes again the dialogue did feel like it was poking fun at zach on many occasions and while watching i thought of movies like jeepers creepers texas chainsaw the shining scream and so many other movies is this a perfect movie no is it one of the more effective horror movies this year definitely yes hell yes the this was fun to watch and it'll definitely be more fun to watch with a crowd i would say the pacing for barbarian could have been a little better because again there are a lot of exposition some of it was overkill and certain things seem to just go on and on for far too long there's not a single thing i can think of that anyone can predict going into this movie besides of course people dying i even admire how it plays with your expectation of a jump scare and doesn't do it which then makes the inevitable jump scare more effective perhaps it does try to outsmart the audience too much but zach 
you should be very proud and i may not have been a fan of long's character in the movie but i think his casting was done for a reason and it paid off so i definitely feel like there were many nods to jeepers creepers again in the movie with justin long's presence i mean all the way down to his entrance it was just like okay certain parts of this for people who know justin long and have seen his track record with horror you might come out of this thinking they were paying tribute to his contributions to the horror genre because uh, i know a lot of people will crown him as a scream king so i really appreciate some of the respect put forward in how his character is written and just again justin long himself just coming stepping forward and delivering another compelling and engaging performance like he always does in this genre barbarian is a great movie but there are some writing decisions in the end that were a bit jarring and the film does have an abrupt ending that may or may not work for everyone also i will say this please pay attention to the dialogue early on in the film because as i'm recording this my love for the dialogue has grown after realizing some of the foreshadowing that lies within it all in all this movie was a hit with me it is well made it has again its own writing hiccups it has pacing issues but all in all on a technical level those technical strengths really do kind of make up for some of the writing mishaps for me and that's why I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. I love this movie. I can't wait to watch it again this week with a crowd and see what else is going to be like, see what other people's reactions are going to be to this movie because it is very intense and it is unpredictable. You might be able to predict a couple of things while you're watching, but for the most part, this movie is going to floor a lot of people. This movie probably will be something that many people enjoy on multiple rewatches and revisits by just how many people they can introduce to it because of because of the way that they are going to always be floored. Someone who is newly introduced to this movie, I can see will always be floored. And that might be what is going to keep this into being something that many people want to revisit always with another new person, someone who's never seen it before. But again, hats off to you, Zach. You should be very proud. I hope we get to see more of you in the horror genre. And again, I'm giving this movie an 8 out of 10. And also, Roy Lee, because I know I saw you follow me on Twitter and I did re reach out to you. I hope you listen to this and enjoy my review. But if you guys haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notifications so that you never miss a video. In the description, I'll have links to all my social media accounts, my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course, to let me know if there are any movies, news, or reviews you would like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video